Action unfolding as we speak in Chester County and a new development in the investigation into Danilo Cavalcante's escape. We learned this afternoon that the prison guard on tower duty when that convicted killer broke out last week has now been fired. The acting warden of the prison said just days ago that that guard, an 18 year veteran, failed to see Cavalcante as he scaled onto the roof and then over that roof. Nearly an hour would pass before anyone noticed he was gone. Again, the effort to recapture Cavalcanti may be entering a brand new phase right now. Tonight, as officers descend on that area, they believe he might be hiding. We're getting a look inside what's been a sprawling search effort for that convicted killer. It is comprehensive and it is complex. Action News reporter Maggie Kent's been following every step of this for the last several days. Maggie, a lot of ground to cover tonight. So much and you know, you say it and it's exactly true. So much ground to cover for those law enforcement officers. This is day nine of the search for Danilo Cavalcante, a convicted murderer who was able to escape from Chester County Prison. And we're hearing that an eyewitness account was since confirmed by some trail camera footage placing Cavalcante in the area of Longwood Gardens. And that's really where a lot of the attention has been today and puts him over in the area of Longwood Gardens. Eyewitness accounts and trail camera footage place convicted killer Danilo Cavalcante at Longwood Gardens as recently as Thursday at noon. It's where officers with long guns once again descended today. This afternoon, we toured the command center of this massive operation to catch an escaped prisoner. I know how stressful this is for the community. You want to know that there is a, uh, a strong effort to capture him. Working 12 hour shifts, state troopers, customs and border agents and FBI agents are manning the phones, taking in tips and dispatching law enforcement accordingly. They're watching live camera feeds and taking in a stream of the helicopter's aerial view. It allows us to visually see where we've got people placed. A giant map of the latest perimeter is projected onto the wall to show exactly where trooper vehicles are stationed to dispatch accordingly. In this area, we've got uh, tactical teams operating right now, mounted, uh, canines, aviation. Searching a field near Baltimore Pike and Lenape Road on foot and mounted patrol this morning, the goal is to keep pressure on Cavalcante, who has experience hiding in the jungle of Brazil, evading capture in his home country in 2017. After the crime that he committed down there, he did something very similar to this uh, in the jungle down there. So uh, it's not surprising to me that he's able to, to last out there for a little while. We've seen a very large police presence out here today. Brian, we're told upwards of 350 members of law enforcement are here now in order to catch Danilo Cavalcante. Uh, when we asked about how long they could maintain such a large police force, and Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel Bivens says, you know, that will ebb and flow based off of what they need each day, but never will it be understaffed as they continue their search. We're live in Kennett Square, Maggie Kent, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. And we know you and your crew were asked to move because of the action underway right now. We're going to keep our eyes on this all night long as we have been. Maggie, thank you.